Bobby. We shouldn't be talking. I can't talk to you about him, about the investigation. This isn't about him or the White House. I need a loan. Okay, what's the plan? Liv, who do we need to go after? We're not fighting dirty on this one. I'm bringing in someone from outside of OPA. Good. A man who's his own lawyer has a full four client. Liv, if I say anything to you about the case, it means you'll have to testify. This is huge. Quinn, I'm going before Congress. I need legal counsel, but I also need a political insider, a PR magician, someone who can limit the damage done by all these photos. A lawyer can't do all that. No, but I can. You hired Leo? Thing one, and thing two, and a new addition to the bestiary. Hold on, familiar face? Recent headliner? Yes, the man who hid in the closet while the mayor's wife was being filleted, the coward of the county, Marcus Walker. If this bunch is your go-to, you obviously called me just in time. Grant's group, side piece in chief, Olivia Polk. Here we ho again. Mistress Mania has taken the nation by storm, making you, Olivia, the delusional paramour, the wily homewrecker who snaked her way into the president's bedroom. You're his Monica, his Marilyn, his mama, mama, my Sharona, and the country does not approve. We get it. You have a plan to fix all that, of course right? I have. Do I have? Yes, I. <clears throat> We're going to take what the public views as a cheap and tawdry affair between the president and his former communications director, and we are going to spin it into the greatest romance ever told. Olivia and Fitz, a love like no other. See, my plan even has a name. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, no. That's what will resonate with the country. That's what you'd be telling you if you were me. That's what you've sold to the American people time and time again. Everyone loves a love story. Everyone relates. That's not on the table. What else you got, Leo? You know how they say doctors make the worst patients? How about Olivia Pope? Philanthropist, humanitarian. It worked for Angelina. And wake me when you're done. Olivia Pope, woman of the people. That I like. That's what we're doing. That's the thing about the great ones, they perform no matter what utter crap they are dealt. I can work with that. The country does not love you because the country does not know you. Unfortunately, if the country did know you, they wouldn't be able to love you because nobody loves an entitled, out-of-touch, card-carrying member of the 1%. I am none of those things. Really? Then how do you explain all of this? Everything in here is off-limits. From now on, if you cannot buy it at the mall, you cannot wear it out of the house. Get thee to the Galleria. Go. Go! What else do I need to know about your relationship with the president? I'm not sure there's anything more to tell you. Did he shower you with gifts? Is there a Bentley somewhere nobody knows about? Did he pay your rent? He never gave me anything. Where's all her food? You mean her wine and popcorn? Whatever. Where does she buy it? She uses a delivery service. I don't have time to go grocery shopping. Of course not. You're too busy getting your freak on with the press. That's the country talking, not me. America's starting to see you as an every woman, but to seal the deal, they need to be told by someone, someone they respect, that you are, in fact, human, and not some man-eating, husband-stealing hunk of artificial intelligence, and not by one of these mongrels or any of the other dirty deviants you represent, myself included. I'm talking about someone with gravitas. Someone respected, admired, beloved. Someone who actually knows you. No. He's perfect. National profile. Women love him for his passion, defensive plan. Parents. No. Ooh, ooh, ooh. America loves him right now. Weirdos! Focus! <laughs>